And hello, hello everybody. Good to be back with AutoAuto yet again. I'm gonna be demonstrating a few things uh, as you can see in the background. We've got the software running pretty well. The uh, only reason you're seeing all of this is because the sim is paused. Right, so, uh, yeah, but this is the AutoAuto. Uh, when it's working pretty well, you can see it pretty much changes a lot of things about the sim. It makes the, uh, you know, the whole textures um the ground texture is obviously different so uh this is a uh, great and you'll see there are some spots because it's just it all it works all on uh, osm data and stuff like that so sometimes they might have certain patches that might be missing so that is expected however everything uh, else seems to be running pretty smoothly when it is but this video is gonna be all about troubleshooting this software and uh, things that you could do to be able to get all of this running pretty well so if I go on the program uh, which is a uh, 0.7.2 is the latest one uh, I'm not going to talk too much about these things here but uh, in the newest version now you get uh, these sections here where you can get both the cache you can output the cache and you know the downloads are in a you know temporary download directory. So that's when you're actually getting all of these sceneries uh, that is gonna load it up. But we're gonna talk a little bit more about like I said troubleshooting all of this stuff uh, in uh, just a minute. So one of the things after you get those cache files here, which you will have placed here in this folder or whichever folder that you put it in sometimes uh, you find that you might have to clean the cache because for some reason we have added some uh, slight uh, corrupted files or something like that probably because of the antivirus or something would have corrupted some of the files uh, you might have to clean the cache and then uh, to be able to let it re let it re-download the whole um, cache of the Area. The only thing is because you see running it just means that I'm already running this sim so that's why but uh, generally what you do is uh, you would after you press clean cache you see it says uh, cleaning up the cache and then uh, after it completes then uh, it would uh, show the total approximate amount that was clean and then now you see it says done cleaning the cache if you say okay and then you would go and press run um, like before so it will update it and mount the sceneries and it will start the and you know start the pro the software again and then you load up the sim again um, and then you're supposed to at least be able to see because it will have cleaned up the cache and everything all corrupted files and it will reload the files the cache uh, files So if that also doesn't uh, work, most likely it could be your scenery order. And I know a lot of people have been talking about scenery order. So we're going to go into my scenery library and uh, in the INI pack, the scenery order is to have the overlays, which is uh, because you want to have all the sceneries and stuff and have the overlays which is when it gets the ground textures and all of that to be able to put the buildings uh, on top those um those awful textures or else if it is on top without if the scenery is on top without the overlays then you will find that you're going to get just the ground scenery and you're not going to see any buildings or anything like that so there is a specific order and this is the order you want to have the y awful then you want to have the scenery this is a Z scenery uh, how as you can see I have any South, South Africa Europe Australia and then you're gonna put this here which is the auto awful uh, parks and the way it has the location so most of the time what's gonna happen is that those files here are actually gonna get shortcut into the sim because of where you would have put for example as you see here I would have had my this location as the install directory and it has to actually go into 
it has to be read so it has to go into explain 12 into the custom scenery library and it's gonna those files from inside we are gonna get shortcut into the um, explain that 12 custom scenery and that's when you know that it's working so if you don't see any of these files shortcut into the scenery it means that uh, there is an issue and that's why it's not loading up it could be a case where you might have to delete this entire or the files inside of there the whole um, what I mean the files the scenery files I mean like the actual cache files in um, that comes from the scenery all right so basically you have to delete all of these cache files all right so all of this you'll delete the entire thing all the cache data and everything and uh, let the program rerun and then i uh, get a whole new cache uh, you'll go back to where you have the auto photo cache all of these files inside of here and then you'll just pretty much uh, just delete your press you know delete and once you delete those files and then you're going to reload the software uh, you rerun the software and then you press run again then obviously because you didn't add any cache files when it loads up yet again then it's going to load up um, you're gonna load up the entire sim and it's gonna get those cache some new cache files and that should be able to uh, get the entire cache working yet again as long as you have the uh, scenery library order in uh, this format like I said earlier all right okay so as you can see you're spanning onto another location and you can see the data is still here uh, like I said here this is when you have some of the OSM data missing which um, you would expect some data might be missing you know as the world is very large however to what we're gonna do is if you can't get certain pieces let's say because certain areas you probably missed those data or probably perhaps that the entire data probably might have been deleted or corrupted or something what you could do is probably re-download those files for example in the scenery let's look at North America um, it says we have up to date but it could be like corrupted or some of the files got deleted because the computer did some issue or something like that of the case or antivirus or whatever you can actually go to like your Google go to auto offer and let's say we go to the github page and then uh, if you are uh, you go to uh, KBLS and then uh, you can go to the auto offer here and you would see releases here and on those releases you would see the entire um, NA which is in North America and see how many um, files all you have to do is pretty much just download this entire uh, this entire thing here or let's say if it's a case when when you um let's say if it's a case where in the downloads when it's downloading they might have sections where it shows that it's um it, it might not be loading for some reason or probably a laptop went off or computer went off or something and then it didn't download the file properly um, and you remember which number it was so then you just go back and you can download it from here instead of rerunning it so uh, that's one way you can and what you could do is download it get the files and put it back into where for example if you go back to this this section here and you go in scenery and you go back in NA and you pretty much uh, just get all of the data and everything inside of the entire earth nav data inside of here okay so what we could do this time around is we can actually delete the entire shortcuts because like I would have said earlier this is the explain 12 or let's say if it's explain 11 uh, install directory but this would be the already scenery installer with all of these um, the install folders the um, you know terrain um, the terrain layouts and stuff like that and the image on the terrain layouts and stuff like that would be the configuration uh, it would place those shortcut files would actually get into the explain um, 11 custom scenery 
when you when it runs the program and the software is running um, and those cache files would be sent to the sim and would be loaded and you'll be able to see those cache files which what what was going to happen is that those cache files is pretty much just going to be able to cause the sim to be able to run those files without actually having to keep re-downloading re-downloading it all the time so that's just what the cache does but in a case where you can't actually get any of these the, the actual scenery what you have to do is to actually delete all the shortcut files that this software um, would have created in your custom scenery folder so if i go to the custom scenery folder all of these files here you will just delete all of them because uh, they will be pretty empty so for example if i go on to asia then you would see empty folder because it just created this shortcut to where it's going to send all of this data but it hasn't as of yet because we have actually haven't gone there or actually been able to fly around yet so it just created the shortcuts to be able to send the data so when we load up the sim it's going to filter in all the data so what we could do is like i said just delete all of the shortcuts once you delete all of the shortcuts and then you're going to rerun the program and press rerun then it's going to load back all of the shortcuts yet again and then most likely that should be able to fix everything in terms of letting it re-download or replace back the cache file whether the cache files or the actual files back into the sim into the custom scenery folder and then you should also put be able to load back and get back all of these um, these fo auto photos now what we could do is go to uh, auto offer and uh, there are two independables that we can either use to be able to um, to get it all set up to be able to run properly so you see here they say you can either use Docker or WinFSP. Now, it depends on whichever one that works for you, or whichever one. Um, I guess when you try, um, you you might be able to see it working. So at the moment, I have WinFSP um, installed, and that one was the one I found to be able to work for me, and was able to run everything properly. Actually, to be able to even run this program properly, um, I use that to be able to run the program. Okay, so uh, you can either use that, but uh, as you can see here, I don't even have Docker and I have WinFSP. So it could be that you have to be able to use one of them first to be able to even run the program and then to be able to get the files to be able to transfer first. Okay, so another thing could be that, for example, with the auto offer, which I uh, believe is a lot of people issues, um, uh, a lot of people have those issues in terms of the compatibility and stuff. At the moment, I run it as an administrator. But what I could also say is that to uh, be able to, I, what I've also realized is that in terms of control, you know, you can either, um, you actually have to have either full control, as you can see, all of these in terms of the controls to be able to run program. Sometimes it could be a case where you accidentally either um, deny certain things like either read and write stuff like that um, and then by I'm not too sure why but it could be so you, ha you you have to give it full control to be able to to be able to transfer the files in um, as we saw in read and write and uh, so that you can be able to transfer those files because you wouldn't be able to do it um, unless if it, it, it actually has uh, full authorization to be doing that from there so it could be that could be one of the issues as well okay so there's also the other issue of sam and auto -alpha, and i think I, I would have already addressed this in our previous videos so which I, i'm sure i'm actually gonna put in the description so that you guys can actually follow along in terms of that part and to most people know that sam has the issue um, with um, auto offer so one thing that people could do is to put it to manual mode in that way now um, the files can actually you will actually have to put 
those files manually um, to be able to keep it at the top um, as majority of the times it for some reason it changes the configuration of these auto waffle files at the bottom and um, you know and messes with some and causes some issues where you're gonna find one of these files might end up coming all the way up here when you load when you load the um, the sim and that's obviously going to cause problem because this is now the awful is on top of all the sceneries and you're going to get a plain airport with just um, probably just just ground textures and no buildings and nothing so you want to make sure that you keep it there so what you do is that you you're going to go back to your scenery uh, library keep it that way press save as long as it's it's in the right order all right sorry as long as it's in the right order this way in the right order and then uh, what i normally do is because i put it on manual i go back to where like i might explain 12 and then i go to auto offer i'm sorry to my scenery pack sorry and then i press property and then i put read only apply press ok and i don't run the program from like my ex organizer i just run the 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 xpen 12 directly after that because it's gonna say something about that uh, you're running it with read me only you're gonna say okay and that way now it keeps it locked or it keeps the scenery order locked um based on how you have based on how you have it here and that way it has actually fixed the sum and auto offer issues okay so last but not least and uh, what we're gonna do is look at the zoom level you can actually change the zoom level which i would have said earlier and uh, because some people was asking about it um, since that in the program you let's say you have bing maps and you find probably bing maps probably a little lower in how much detail it is you can actually change that so based on where you have your here your temporary download folder you can go uh, to uh, this section and you see here auto off for the data you go to the release information that release information is um, which I will show you guys here you can go and press find like zoom level and uh, press enter and then you see base level of 16 now the 16 is the one the standard one i think it comes in is 14 or 12 i believe but i would have increased it up to 16 base level 16 to make it look a little bit more detail so this wouldn't have been the detail how much depth it is in terms of the zoom but i made it a little bit more if um if i go a little higher up or if you wanted to look uh, from higher levels to come up here and get outside uh, and then you can see how much detail it looks from this position let's go to another area let's try to move a little bit more to the north come outside again yet again uh, let's see somewhere else now and you can see it looks pretty good from a high altitude and this is way above like 47,000 feet uh, so this looks a lot more sharper than if it was like at level 12 or 14 uh, so that's what I have for you guys today um, if you have any other questions or anything that you want to um, talk to me about uh, please uh, message or link me in discord and uh, I would get to you as quickly as I can also you can um, comment like share this video as well um, on the channel and uh, we'll uh, be answering all the questions um, relating to this top the other videos uh, do look out for the other videos that i have coming uh, as we get, dive a little bit more as well into more configurations with the auto offer file and folders and as well as the software have a good day guys bye bye